What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Orange Slice. We're talking about the latest in web design and digital marketing. The latest. The latest. I am Brennan. I'm Dave. Today we're going to talk about email marketing and email blasts, and if it's relevant at all. No. Let's talk about it. So Dave, email marketing. Yes. Is that still a thing? Sometimes. 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 But not always. When does it work, I guess, would be a good place to start. Well, for those of you that don't know what email marketing is or an email blast, it's essentially when you either obtain a list of people, uh, particularly their email addresses, mm -hmm. and you send them out information. These can be curated lists from people that have signed up for things on your site, right. or they can be, hey, I bought a list from some guy for 500 bucks, and I have access to all these people's email addresses that are related or not related, if you have a bad list, to whatever you're selling or whatever your service is. And that's why my spam folder is full. Of stuff that you probably didn't read, yes, because right. okay. you at some point you were caught up in a list because you signed up for xyzcoolsocks.com mm -hmm. at one point or something like that. Gotcha. Okay, so what what are uh, what are blasts good for then? Or is there a conversion ratio we should be looking at? Well, I think there's like certain times where it could potentially work. So like if you were looking at um, like if you wanted to update somebody on a product, right? If you have a new cool thing, mm -hmm. right? Or if you have a uh, a new release of information, a product, or a service uh, for people that are already interested in something that you offer have shown a similar interest in someone else's thing or widget or whatever that they like, have. Like uh, our company won an award. Right. Or here's a link to our press release because we did something really cool. So, right. And those are targeted towards people that want those emails and care about Have shown company. an interest in some okay. level of service. Now, and it doesn't always have to be something that's related specifically to like a, a product or a service. It could also be, you know, if let's say you're involved in like what we are, like marketing mm -hmm. SEO, you know, we can sign up for an email list that says, hey, include us in all uh, future updates. Uh, or if they're doing press releases or if they have a lot of good articles, you could always subscribe to their blog, which would be okay. emailed to you. Um, a lot of people don't think of like, you know, emails as, as signing up for something. Um, they, sometimes they do manually sign up for it, sometimes they don't. If you're in a blog, that would be like a manual sign up. If you're a, a part of an email list, that mm -hmm. would be something that obviously you don't have a lot of control over. Um, but by law, in those email blasts, they do have to say, uh, you know, so unsubscribe me from this, why am I seeing this email, some type of text that links you to a place where you can unsubscribe. Right, and I definitely find those helpful. Those are the, the one emails that I open are, here's my digest of marketing right. news, so I can just scroll through that instead of go to their site. And well, yeah, because you, you on your site, they could be you know 10 different ones ahead of what you actually want to read. Right. So in the email, you can kind of curate that and say, okay, this is the specific thing that I remember I was interested in. Let, show me that one only. Right. Okay. And so what what makes these fail, these email campaigns? Um, if they're overly service-based. So let's say you're, you were part of a list, right? Um, on purpose. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. So let's, let's say you just get a random email in your inbox. Let's say you live in an apartment, right? Okay. Would a would a landscaping or lawn care email be relevant to you? Probably not. Or like an office cleaning email or something nope. like that. So that would be like the first instance of I think why an email campaign would fail. Uh, poorly curated lists. You know, were you interested in this service or were you not interested mm -hmm. in this service? Did you manually sign up or were you part of a list? Um, let's say for example, you manually did sign up for a list, and it's like you get all these emails. It's like, hey, look at us. Hey, look at us. Hey, look at us but there's not really any purpose. Okay. So let's say that um, you know you receive an email from one of your uh, blogs that you follow or something like that, and it's just like, there's one blog post and it's really weak. Or like, hey, here's this thing we're going to, but it doesn't involve you. Like, hey, here's this event, we're headed off here. And it's like, oh, neat, but what what's to really keep you mm -hmm. engaged? Like, what's to keep you to following that email string? And let's say you get a couple of those in a row. It's like, hey, look at us. But there's not really any intent, there's not really any purpose, right. there, there's no real reason for you to receive this email that you couldn't receive in a Facebook follow. Right, and then right. That, that, I guess the people setting up that email, they're wasting money and time. Yeah, I mean every single email in a, in a large scale, let's let's say you use like, uh, and we'll link to some of these in the description just so you can be aware of them, you know, MailChimp, Content Contact, mm -hmm. you know, every time you send out one of those blasts, it's going to cost you something. Um, it could cost you money, it could cost you uh, people who follow, you know, if you're not sending out information, uh, good information, right. um, there, there's a couple of different ways that it could cost you. 
So you wanna make sure that every single one you're sending out is really good. Um, probably another example of like why it would fail would be, let's say you have, let's say you go through like MailChimp or Constant Contact, you have this really amazing email, right? Mm -hmm. Cool banner, lots of pictures, maybe even a YouTube video, something from your channel, but your landing page or wherever you're sending them is terrible. Landing pages and where they go to. Their destination, right, the destination. So if I click on this picture, I click on this video, or I click on this link that's in the text, uh, it's gonna send me to this place. And what if that's a bad experience? So like expectation versus reality. Right. It's kind of like, you know, if you go to a restaurant, it's like, hey, here's this really juicy burger and you come out, it's just like, <laughs> you kind of <laughs> plop together. So something like that would definitely uh, affect the performance of it. Um, another thing that I just thought of was, what if you have like a really catchy title, but the contents of the email are really bad? Uh, like clickbait. Yeah, like a clickbait. Uh, so that could definitely affect it. Uh, I, I really think that if you have a bad targeted list, that's gonna be, the primary thing that has it fail. You know, in order of importance, let's say bad list. Um, so I just bought this random list. Mm -hmm. uh, just give me all the people that live in this city or in this particular region, uh, and I'm gonna blast it out to all of them. Well, first of all, they're probably not gonna open the email, so the open rate's gonna be really bad. If they do open it, it's, it's probably out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, just to go back to like that apartment, you know, landscaper, it's like, well, why am I receiving this? Mm -hmm. So you, the first thing you're gonna do is either market as spam to where you never get it, you know, that email again or unsubscribe, um, and, and they don't have a way to contact you in the future. So even, I, I would think that if you have a really nice, really informative email that's, that's really great and you've lived in the apartment and it was this landscaping email that was really great, maybe you'd save it in the future if you plan on moving within that area, you wouldn't immediately market as spam. Right, or you'd at least have some sort of name recognition. Yeah, you'd have something. Yeah. yeah, there'd be some inherent value that might not be immediate value, but you'd have some inherent value, name recognition, uh, remembering that company in the future. Uh, I don't think that would be your starting point. Again, I, I think that you should definitely vet who you're gonna send this email out to, mm -hmm. uh, and that'd be the, the primary thing that you focus on. Um, second thing would be make sure that your email is high quality. So good list, then high quality. Uh, make sure what's in the email is high quality, make sure wherever you're sending them is high quality, and make sure that you provide them some type of way to convert from wherever you're sending mm -hmm. them. So, you know, you shouldn't make them look, you shouldn't throw it in their face as soon as they get there, but you shouldn't make them look for a okay. phone number, you should make them look for a, a submission form. You know, think of like, uh, what are your customers gonna care about? You know, in terms, if it's a landscaping company, hey, get a free quote here if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Not sure what you need? You know, call us today and we'll we'll help walk you through it, or we'll send a service tech out or something like that. Um, even like different types of industry, let's say like lawyers, for example. You know, free case review, right? Just a way to keep in touch or a way to get in touch easily. Mm -hmm. Or like, here's a coupon. Right. Well, not for lawyers, right? Not for lawyers. I don't think it's coupon. Weird. Yeah. Um, we, we may we may introduce that to lawyers. Here's your coupon. You know, twenty five percent off a free consultation. <laughs> yeah. So so email marketing isn't dead. It just has a niche home these days. I think people like with a lot of things that are marketing related, they'll try it on their own and they'll get burnt out on it because it didn't work. Or they'll try it a couple of times and be like, okay, one person out of this you know five hundred thousand fifteen hundred dollar email campaign signed up. So I got something. Maybe the next one will be better. Maybe the next one will be better. But they repeat the same process. I still am using this bad list, right? I'm still using right. this bad experience, uh, and I don't really have any purpose of why I'm sending you this. You know, I, to, to pre-plan, think of like what your ideal action would be for somebody that follows through this email. Like, what do you want them to mm -hmm. do? And then design the experience around that. Uh, and definitely, you know, vet your list or vet your client and see who is a good fit for this. Gotcha, excellent. Well, thanks Dave so much. Uh, email marketing, sometimes Not dead. Works. Not dead. Yeah. It's on his last, leg, last legs. Till we get like yeah. the VR headsets that, you know, automatically update us mm -hmm. and all that stuff. It kind of reminds me of the, um, not the headset thing, but the email marketing kind of reminds me of companies that try AdWords on their own. Definitely, yeah. And, and, you know, we plan on producing a lot of videos about AdWords and how to do that properly. Um, but with email marketing, it's it's the same concept. You know, if, you, if you're just winging it and not really sure what to do, hopefully this video helped you understand uh, some key points to look at but you, you, you don't wanna waste time or money and someone else's time mm -hmm. in whatever you're throwing out there and hoping it will stick. Excellent, well thanks again Dave. I'm Brennan. I'm Dave. As I said, and thanks for tuning in to Orange Slice. Be sure to like or subscribe our channel so you get the latest, uh, yeah, what are you pointing? Oh, it's a video. The like stuff, the bell. The bell. At least yeah. I think it's on that side, otherwise. One of them. We can fix that in post.
Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, deuces! See you next time.